Good morning everybody, I hope that you are well. My name is Christiane and I am coming at you from Chiang Mai in Thailand. So me and my boyfriend Jeremy, we'll see him later. Um, we have been here for a few days already, but before leaving Chiang Mai, I was super, super, super keen to do a trekking tour and go see some elephants and go bamboo rafting. Oh, we have been staying at the Common Hostel and they have like this wall of tours with the leaflet showing you all the different companies and I had a really good look through to see if I wanted to do any or to see if we wanted to do any of those but I wasn't overly inspired by any of them none of them were just quite perfect and so I decided to do a little bit of research on Google and I came across this company literally just called Chiang Mai Trekking I saw the tours that they offered and it just looked perfect and then I looked at the reviews and the reviews Views were amazing and so I said to Jeremy this is the one that we've got to do it's about 8 15 in the morning and we're just about to get picked up from our hostel we're gonna be doing a three-day two-night trek we've packed up our like day bags to just take on this trip and then we're gonna be putting our big bags in their locker storeroom and setting off on a big adventure and that's what this vlog is going to be all about so grab yourself a nice hot drink and sit back and enjoy it's three day yeah three day take today start from chiang mai the first program go visit the uh, local market after the local market go visit the waterfall yeah after the waterfall one hour have lunch after lunch 20 minute driving yeah and then start hiking today two or three hour hiking yeah the first night stay in car and village for the second day in the morning tea coffee for breakfast time after breakfast time uh second day four or five hour hiking thursday last day in the morning tea coffee for the breakfast time after breakfast time do the bamboo rafting after lunch uh for visit uh elephant papa okay <laughs> are people believe from say not 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 many uh, not, not 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 many yeah but some word some word i i know like, like that yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 you <laughs> no elephant no, no. <laughs> just stopped off at a local market mostly so the tour guides can buy provisions for our food but also we can buy our own toilet roll because there's not going to be toilet roll on a lot of the trek and also we can just have a look around and get any snacks that we might possibly want Thirty-five point nine. apparently if you do it more than once though you'll get a different reading 35.8 wow so i don't think i've mentioned the tour is because there is six of us it's cheaper and it's 3500 baht each for three days and two nights so that's about 77 pounds in total less than 30 pounds a day like 20 25 quid a day ish which is great that's under budget this is what i'm wearing at least for today i've got the solo shorts on i've gone for a super nerdy look down below socks and sandals we basically needed shoes to hike in and like some kind of sandals and flip-flops for just walking around camp at night time and so i just thought well why don't i just wear my hiking sandals and to have two in one so that I don't have to carry them. And then I've just got my Tropic Feel Cruiser backpack, which I've filled up with some underwear, spare clothes, swimming gear, toiletries, things like this. That's literally all that I have for the next three days. Okay, we have arrived at the first stop, which is a waterfall, which is called, I actually have no idea. I'll write the name of the waterfall here. And very, very COVID safe. They've taken everyone's temperatures. We have to wear our masks. And unfortunately, because of COVID, we are not allowed to swim in the waterfall. It's normally a waterfall which you can swim in. What is the name of this waterfall? Mofa Waterfall. Yeah, Mofa Waterfall. Mofa Waterfall. There you go. <laughs> This is a really stunning waterfall. 
like it. Really sad that we can't swim though. This would be a gorgeous one to swim in. Uh, someone here, someone they have a uh, uh, oh. bean, bean. Uh, Do we eat it? They have coconut, this one coconut, yeah. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Do you eat it? Right. You smoke it and like then, this. <laughs> uh, take like that. Huh. This one no eating. <laughs> no, yeah. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> Is it rice? Yes. yes. Oh, sticky rice. Sticky rice. Sticky rice. I have been. Here, look like a banana. Oh, this is a Thai style, Thai local like that. Someone want to try this one? Oh. I, I, I add with my. Mm. It tastes guess. coconut. Why is yours purple? Because I'm a special guest. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, super, yeah? So that special sticky rice was called cow lamb. Cow meaning rice and lamb meaning to burn because I think they make it by burning something at the bottom of that stick. So we've got some egg fried rice, omelette and some kind of brothy soup, brothy vegetable soup. I have got no idea what's in there actually. Anyway, lunch has arrived. And some chicken. Is that, oh, it's for, to share for the table. Sorry, I won't take it all. Oh, and some watermelon. Oh, a great spread. Okay, we have driven sufficiently into the middle of nowhere to start our trekking. It's now time. It's now time to sun cream. Oh, sorry, you. What? Oh, sorry. What? It's okay. <laughs> it's now time to put on sun cream and bug spray. And they're giving us one litre of water because I think we're going to trek for like six kilometres. And we're going to end up, I believe, at the place where we're going to stay for the night with a tribe in some huts. Honestly, I don't know. That is a very rickety looking uh, ladder. Oh my. That's, that doesn't look so safe. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Yes. Okay. One by one. Oh, okay. Oh, well done. Uh, on what you see, Mom. Don't <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, say that. I'm joking. Oh my goodness. I hope I'm joking. Oh, sorry. So you went the wrong way. <laughs> this way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Some of these things are prickly. Oh, I've been overtaken by Jeremy. When this are uh, the lapper come out there if you the fire la like, fell down somewhere easy for burn yeah, this one yeah. also they have the herb you take the root you clean you mix with the whiskey mm -hmm. one or two shot for energy when i try uh, raw meat like i uh, make a like, pork salad or a like, buffalo salad uh, someone they eat the uh, raw meat they drink it's a uh, one shot or two shot for kill the bacteria uh, what is your name if you want to ask the uh, current language you can say it's a uh, Nami Dilo. Oh, Nami Dilo. Uh, I say it's a uh, Jami Khan. Yeah, okay, my name is Khan. Uh, Jami Khan. Jami, Jami Khan. Jami Christie. Hey, Jami Christie. Jami is my name. Tabr mean. Thank you. Tabr is thank you. On Mukchukpo is hi, how are you? On Mukchukpo. Tabr. Tabr. Yeah, Tabr mean. On Mukchukpo. Hi, how are you? Tabr. Thank you. Mm, I like this. I like this language. This is the language of the tribe that we're going to be staying with tonight. So this is why it's important we learn a few words so we can communicate well with them. We're just passing through a little village right in the middle of the jungle where the population is about 40 or 50 people. So it's very, very small, but very, very beautiful. They have their own little slice of paradise in the middle of the Thai jungle. We're almost there, probably like five minutes to go, and we've reached a river crossing. Luckily, I've got my waterproof sandals on, so I'll just take the nerdy socks and sandals off. <laughs> and just make it sandals and then I can just walk through with those. Ten, Here we go. Ten, oh, it's okay. Are you okay without your shoes? Yeah? Okay. yeah? You didn't bring any flip-flops? <sighs> and this is why I wore these sandals. Feeling very resourceful right now with my uh, packing and clothing decisions. <laughs> 
We have finally arrived at Me Manai village. It's t taken a lot longer than what we were told actually. Uh, we thought it was five to six kilometers and my Apple watch, or oh, I'll end it now. Three hours and 27 minutes, 8.63 kilometers. <laughs> 767 calories. I mean, it was a great workout for sure. And we did 375 meters in elevation gain, but we were going up and down and up and down. It was a really good hike, actually. I really, really enjoyed it. Though at the end I was kind of like, when is it gonna finish? But yeah, we've now made it to the village. I don't even know what we're gonna do next. I guess have a little explore around. Looks like there's some rustic showers here. Yeah, I'm quite peckish. It's 10 to six and the sun's setting very, very shortly. So I imagine we'll probably eat quite shortly as well. Okay, I have showered. Some of the others are still showering now. It was very, very cold. I'm sorry I didn't film it. One, there was literally no light in there whatsoever. You can't see a thing. But also two, I was naked. So yeah, I didn't film it, but it was doable. And also totally worth it now feeling super, super, super fresh. So I don't know if you can see what's behind me. No, you absolutely can't. It's a massive fire pit. So I believe they're gonna put the fire on this evening. We're gonna have a little dance. They do actually have a few beverages which you can pay for here. So our dinner will be included. I believe it's 70 baht that we're paying for beers. They just have a massive crate. Obviously they bring them over from Chiang Mai. So that's why we have to pay extra for them, but that's totally fine. It's still super, super affordable. I feel absolutely knackered, but very accomplished. It was a really, really good day and where we are right now is just stunning like in the middle of absolute nowhere <laughs> i can already tell that the stargazing tonight is going to be amazing because there's no light pollution coming from literally anywhere oh only the moon there is like a, a crescent moon going on but yeah i think it's going to be really really nice and i'm really looking forward to waking up in the morning here and listening to the sounds of the river and the wildlife it's going to be super super peaceful Okay, and the first menu I have is green curry. Green curry? Uh, it's green curry. They have a coconut milk, egg pan, and a chili pan. They put to here. Yeah, this okay. one is spring roll. Spring roll. Uh, in French, you call it a nam. Uh, nam. Nam. Uh, nam. Uh, nam. Yeah, they have a uh, noodle. They have the tofu inside. If someone eat the uh, meat, I put the uh, meat inside too. This one is stir fry the chicken. It's stir fry the chicken with the uh, chili pepper, curry, and uh, then the uh, same. Yeah, another is the. Uh, uh, this one is chili sauce. Uh, try with the. Uh, uh, the name. Spring roll. Uh, private uh, spring roll. The rice is uh, from here, not from Chiang Mai. Oh, yeah. oh rice okay. from here. They have their own terraces. Right. Their yeah. own terraces. Uh, 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 this uh, one is a rice field. Uh, big hot. And candle. The one here, the pan one half. Good morning, everybody. It's 8 a.m. and we've just woken up. I feel somewhat refreshed. I know I didn't sleep entirely through the night, but I definitely got some half decent rest. So I'm feeling good about that. Wow, my hair looks really, really nice. Now that it's actually a bit light outside, I can actually show you what our sleeping quarters looked like here in the tribal village. So we basically just had like mattresses on the floor which had blankets inside and like tiny little pillows they were just all lined up here one two three for all of us uh, this one meal with the coffee if you like that like, white coffee this coffee yeah uh, oh, this white coffee uh what with milk like creamer oh, 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 okay. it's spoon here okay to be yourself yeah to be yourself yeah thank you welcome ah oh, that little coffee station very cute Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Okay, that was a really nice long lunch. It's now almost 10 a.m. and we are setting off on our hike of the day. Today is literally just one big massive hike through the mountains to our next accommodation. We've been told that it's gonna be about double what it was yesterday. And so since yesterday ended up being almost nine kilometers as opposed to five to six kilometers, my guess is that today is gonna to be around 18 kilometers. But I think mentally I'm gonna prepare for 20 kilometers just in case it's a little bit more because I think it's, it's better to overestimate than underestimate because then you're not left like disappointed with still two kilometers to go. The team's here. The 
team is ready. I'm going to set off my Apple Watch for some hiking. There it is. Three, two, one. Let's go. Just saying hello to the water buffalo. Oh, look at them. They're very still. They look very... Oh, the small one is blind? Oh, hello buddies. One kilometer. Don't know if you can see it, but it's about to hit two kilometers. Robin Hoods, here you come. <laughs> That's a really nice hat, Ava. Thank you. <laughs> It'll be a fun ride down. So the first three kilometers of the trek have actually been really quite nice and easy. Um, it was fairly flat. There was a hundred meters of elevation across three kilometers. So it was not so steep, but now we've started going up. We're gonna be going uphill for two hours. I anticipate we're about to get very, very sweaty. So they've made us all some handmade chopsticks out of bamboo. This guy over here, just been doing it while we've been sitting down. How cool is that? That would sell for about 10 pounds in England. <laughs> yep, very nice. nice. We've been going for a while, but we've just done six kilometers. It feels like we're on kilometer 15 because we have to kind of go quite slowly. One, because of the elevation, it's very up and down, but also the floor is very unsteady. <laughs> so you really have to be careful of your footing so that you don't slip. But luckily it's not too sweaty. The majority of this is in the shade. It feels so much longer than it actually is. I always look at my Apple Watch thinking it's gonna say something massive. And then I'm like, oh, we've only done six kilometers. It's quarter past three. I believe that we should be having lunch around two. So like 45 minutes more of walking. Oh, they're waiting for me. I'm being a bit slow. I just don't want to slip. Hello. <laughs> we made it down to the river here, which means we've walked right down to the bottom of the valley. From right at the top to right at the bottom. Beautiful. Really feel like having a little stand-up paddleboard right now. Lunch is actually earlier than we were expecting. It's half one and we stopped literally right by the river. And I'm very excited. Name of river is the Metang. Start from border with the Myanmar. Yeah, Myanmar border. Ah, it starts at the Myanmar border and makes its way to wherever we are in the Chiang Mai area right now. Honestly, I couldn't tell you. But I'm very excited because apparently there's a big surprise for lunch. That's what we've been told. So we'll see what that big surprise is. Wow. The surprise! At least I think this is the surprise. It's a pretty good surprise. Whoa, look at that! <laughs> oh, sugar! And we're gonna eat it with the chopsticks that they made us on our break. <laughs> mm. It's like water. Chicken. You think that's chicken? Uh, tofu. Yeah, noodle. Our tofu noodles. Yeah. Everything okay? Yeah, it's yeah. delicious. Thank you so much. Welcome, <laughs> welcome. Have a look here. It's going to be us tomorrow. Okay, it is now time for a river crossing. Is it cold? Oh, it is a bit cold. Ooh. I'm not wearing my sandals because although they are designed to be worn in the water, afterwards, obviously because they're wet and your feet are wet, it gets really quite slippy as you're walking and then that can make if you're going like up and down hills very very difficult and so i've made the executive decision to not actually wear them for this river crossing and to just do it barefoot so i'm not going to be sliding around in my shoes for the rest of the hike because we still have two hours after this this is not good so i've had my tavers for 10 years i first got them for my trip to kilimanjaro and the right one is falling apart on this Devastating. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Either I'll have to get them, or I'll try and fix them in Chiang Mai with some super glue, or I just buy new pavers. Perhaps 10 years later, it's time for some new ones. Here we got some little piggies. <laughs> We've done nine and a half kilometers. Maybe we're one hour away now. Perhaps the whole thing. We've done nine and a half kilometers. Yeah, nine and a half. Yes, 
it's funny how the guide he doesn't track these things like with a watch or anything so it's nice to be able to give a bit of uh, accurate information for his treks you know maybe i should give them the stats so they can uh, put it on the guidebook or maybe not maybe it's just nice to keep it as a, a bit of a mystery a bit of a guesstimate for future guests here we are we're walking into the village of our tribe for the night the word that we've learned today is abuya which means hello in this tribe it's different they speak a different language to the tribe from last night oh my goodness it's so beautiful it's all set right on the river and they're literally making bamboo rafts here down on the riverfront there's a lot of chickens around here oh there's some little chickies they're so little oh oh we made it lovely okay let's uh end that and uh, what's up here to drink, uh, some sub drink beer coca uh, water is the same price 70 baht for beer 40 baht for coca 20 baht for water yeah? thank you. you can take from here take thank from you here. what's up here i think this is the bedroom oh cute we have a few more beds to choose from i want us to go here that's nice okay we have set down our stuff i have stopped the watch and i can give you the stats so we were hiking for approximately five hours but we started around 10 o'clock and we finished around five o'clock that's seven hours so yeah i guess that makes sense there was about two hours of breaks and pauses um so our total distance was 12 and a half kilometers i've rounded up a little bit because sometimes i forgot to unpause after we'd stop for a while average pace was 24 minutes and four seconds per kilometer active calories 1122 total calories 1545 elevation gain 542 meters honestly it felt like a lot further than what it was like i felt like we've just done a half marathon but i guess because of the elevation gain and the up and down it just feels like a lot more it means that it definitely feels well rewarded to have finally arrived and on first impressions this village is first of all way bigger than last night's but also way bigger than i was expecting it's right on the river it's just surrounded by jungle yeah it's just absolutely stunning i'm looking forward to well First of all, I'm looking forward to a shower. I feel sweaty and disgusting once again, but then I'm very much looking forward to dinner. But I think the first point of call is a beer. A Chang. Yes, please. This is a Singer. It's not a Chang. Yeah, let's go for one of these and sit over here. Oh, this looks so nice. In the village they had a community centre with lots of information about the history of the local tribes and how they lived their lives so we spent about 20 minutes in here reading all about it. Just some last minute adjust adjustments for the boat. Good morning everybody. There is going to be, as far as I'm aware, no trekking today. We've literally just walked down directly from the village to the river straight onto our bamboo raft which is going to be our mode of transportation to the next place um, i believe we're going to be on here for about two to three hours i've taken my bottoms off because i don't know if you can see on the camera but it's wet like this is fully wet so if we sit down on here we're going to have very very wet bums so uh yeah we've taken our shoes off and yeah we're ready for a day of adventure bamboo rafting the girls are going in the front and then the boys are going in the back. And then we have our bags just behind Isabel there. Our bags are like hung up on this structure at the front of the boat. So hopefully they will stay dry. We've set off on our bamboo raft. Is that comfortable on there? No. <laughs> and off we go. Nice sun. I was just said it's cold. 
Yeah, yeah, we would be a bit chilly if there was yeah. no sun, wouldn't we? I'm very overexposed on this camera, but the sun is bright. <laughs> and I am pale. Whoop! Oh, we got some big rocks coming up. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh. There's some big rapids. Oh, nice. It's almost like white water rafting. <laughs> I was not expecting there to be proper rapids like this. I thought it was just going to be very dry. I think over there. Uh oh. Where? Oh, we're rocking a little bit. Everyone. Oh, stay straight. Stay straight. We're, we're also standing because our bums hurt. It's quite hard sitting on the, the bamboo raft for a long time. My bum was getting pins and needles. Okay, this looks like a real bit of a waterfall. Should we sit down? Oh my God. Oh, walking now. Oh, okay. I was gonna say that looks very uh, intense. Okay, yeah, go forwards. Could you imagine if we tried tackling that on this? Look at that, look at that rapid. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's gone. Oh! Oh no! Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh my god, they almost capsized! Jesus! That would be all of our bags! Oh my goodness! Oh, 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 oh! This is stressful to watch! <laughs> Just watching them going down like an intense rapid on a bamboo raft with all of our luggage on it. And back on the bamboo raft now. Oh, they passed us! We're stuck! <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> and there's another one coming as well. Oh no. We've got to get out. All right. Oh well. Oh. <laughs> That was funny. Whew. Well done, everybody. <laughs> Over there, you can see the water buffalo going for a little dip. We're just cruising past. Okay, so this is our last rapid now. It seems we have arrived into a bit of a graveyard of bamboo rafts, so I'm assuming this is our final destination. He's attaching it up. We'll grab our bags and then next stop uh, lunch. Uh, one lunch chicken, has one arrived. leg for one person. Yeah. Oh, chicken, and chicken already, noodles, yeah. vegetables. Okay, fruit. enjoy for lunch. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so our final stop of the whole trek is <laughs> the elephant. <laughs> So we're going to feed them now and then I think that we're going to get to have a little bath with them as well. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. So some fun facts about elephants. They eat about three to four kilos of food a day. They drink about 40 litres of water a day. When the females become pregnant, they're pregnant for two years, cooking up a baby elephant inside of them. And they're the largest mammals on earth, of course. We've been given some of this, I guess, to help bathe the elephants. This is very exciting. He wants food. Oh no! <laughs> He's pooing! Oh, I'm getting splashed by the elephant poo! Weeing and pooing. I'm, I'm gonna go upstream. I don't wish to be downstream of the elephant wee and poo. <laughs> The name of this particular sanctuary is called Elephant Pride. 
and it seems from the research I was doing the majority of elephant sanctuaries now around the area of Chiang Mai do not do any riding or anything like this which is great news unfortunately I did see some which still did riding but ones like elephant pride heading in the right ethical direction yeah it was just really nice to feed them and help bathe the elephants and just see them doing what they do just just being elephants very very cool <laughs> so me, yeah. now not, not the elephants part. are yeah, yeah. bathing themselves yeah, yeah. in the mud apparently for skin protection i don't want to get too close because i don't want to get covered in mud oh yeah butt scratch lovely yes and just like that we are back in chiang mai it is finally the end of our trekking tour and well, what an incredible few days we've had. I would highly recommend the company that we went with. It was called Chiang Mai Trekking by Perun or Chiang Mai Trekking with Perun. I will link it down in the description. Because there was more than five of us, we got the kind of cheapest price possible, which was 3,500 baht each, which included everything, like all of our meals, accommodation, the guide. It just didn't include drinks every single day. But yeah, I would highly recommend. We've had a fantastic time. It it was such a high class service. We did tip them at the end because we just thought that they were absolutely fantastic. And now we've just checked into um, a different hostel to what we were at before, not because we didn't like the common hostel, but just because we wanted to check somewhere new out. This one is called the August Hostel and it is a fair amount cheaper. We don't have an ensuite bathroom in here, but the private room is very, very nice. But anyway, I don't know if I'm gonna make another video in Chiang Mai or if we'll be in a next location in the next vlog. I'll figure that out when I get to it. I hope you guys have really enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and like this video if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.